Welcome to this sacred space and to this sacred ceremony. We are gathered here as people of God to witness the marriage of John Francis Sable and Paul Stephen McDevitt. We're here to support and celebrate with John and Paul this marking of their journey as life partners. This is a reading from the first and second books of Samuel, the story of Jonathan and David. Jonathan had become as fond of David as if his life depended on him, and Jonathan entered into a bond with David because he loved him as himself. They kissed each other and wept aloud together. At length, Jonathan said to David, Go in peace. In keeping with what we two have sworn by the name of the Lord, the Lord shall be between you and me and between our posterity forever. David then went into exile. Later, Saul and Jonathan were killed in battle by the Philistines. And after Jonathan's death, David said, I am distressed for thee, my brother Jonathan. Very pleasant hast thou been unto me. Thy love to me was wonderful, passing the love of women. John, will you take Paul to be your partner, best friend, and lover? Will you stand together? and share in the fullness and beauty of life. I will. Will you share with him all that you have, all that you are, and place nothing in this world above your relationship? Will you stand together and share in the fullness and beauty of life? I will. So I ask now, their friends and family, will each of you, by God's grace, do everything in your power to support, encourage, and care for Paul and John in their marriage. And if so, respond loudly, we will. We will. May God's grace be with all of you. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. Love is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interest. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. John, I stand here before you uh, and our family, our friends, our church, and before God to tell you that I love you and I always will. When I first met you, I didn't know that you would become the most important person in my life and my best friend, my soulmate. And I know this sounds cliche, but I didn't really understand what love was until I met you. I didn't realize how simple it was and how really easy it was to love you more and more each day. When I look back on the 15 plus years, um, I can't imagine you not being a central part of my life. Uh, I'm a better person for knowing you and loving you. I believe that we are very blessed to have each other, and I ask God's blessing upon us that we may share our lives and our love with each other for a long time to come. Thank you for loving me and being there for me and letting me be there for you. The last 15 years with you has been the best years of my life. On this day, 
at this moment, I pledge to you before God, family, and friends that I give you all my love, heart, hope, and joy for the rest of my life and into eternity. And as a constant reminder that I have chosen you that I have chosen you above all others above all others to be the one to share my life and love to be the one to share my life and love Paul I give you this ring as a symbol that I am bound to you always as a symbol that I am bound to you always through my love through my love with my soul with my soul and all my heart and all my heart Paul John Having expressed your deep love for one another, having pledged to always be loving and loyal toward each other, and having exchanged rings to symbolize your love, formalizing in our presence the existence of the loving bond between you, on behalf of your family and friends, and in the presence of God, I pronounce you life partners in marriage. You may kiss. Yeah.